All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video of Invader. Today, we will be talking about a different scenario. Last move, uh, Black just played F2. And now, as we can see, uh, there is some sort of moyo going on here uh, for Black. And um, we as White, we are trying to invade that uh, to prevent, you know, to prevent our opponent getting a huge uh, moyo and, and eventually turn them into territory. All right, so before I go ahead and explain, you can take a moment, pause the video, and think about what are some of the invasion points uh, that you think uh, are are good, uh, or or what, where would you play uh, in this scenario as white? So when you come back, um, you can compare to uh, to what I suggest here. So let's go through a little bit of the thought process uh, once again because we need to do this because uh, in in the game uh, you need a thought process I won't be beside you and uh, whispering to you like uh, you know what should you play and all that so uh, you need to train to have some sort of thought process so we can see uh, from as from the knowledge of last time we see that you know when our opponent has uh, a fourth line stone like this, uh, an invasion at R8 uh, seems to be very suitable. So R8 is an interesting point. Uh, maybe we can think about just directly uh, playing at P8. Uh, that's an, also an interesting idea, which we'll later on uh, cover. Uh, some other possibility is to uh, play at R12. Uh, maybe we can directly go into the 3-3. Uh, those are all uh, very good ideas if you, if you have thought about them. Uh, maybe some other players would suggest, hey, why don't we just uh, play a split uh, at Q12. So those are all uh, very valid ideas that should uh, come into your mind first. So let's quickly uh, sort through them a little bit. So. If um, if white plays p8, um, well, first of all, this is on, on a fifth line. So uh, first of all, uh, black can just uh, defend. Uh, actually, white if white honeys, black will cross cut, and uh, I will just stop here because, as we can all see, that black has so many support, and having a fight over here uh, is not going to be great for white. But if I just uh, uh, extend out, uh, these two stones are kind of are kind of boring. They're not achieving uh, much uh, because because Black was still able to secure everything on the third line. So that's maybe not something uh, we want to play uh, as White because we we really did not achieve any good uh, real stuff uh, in terms of invasion. This is more like a, a reduction move. Sometimes reduction moves are good, but in this case, uh, maybe it's not the best move. So let's think about uh, this one. So R8 uh, obviously looks like a very, very nice move. Uh, our opponent has a fourth line stone, and because of the knowledge we had from last time, we should approach on the third line. Um, the problem with this move is that we have to think about a follow-up. Uh, it's... <clears throat> so normally black would not allow white to slide in at uh, at S10 and then make a base in here. So likely we expect our opponent to uh, kick, and when we uh, start to run, our opponent has all kinds of stuff uh, waiting for us. There's the small knight, uh, there's the big knight, uh, there is uh, uh, there's this kind of moves. Uh, these are all very hard to deal with. Uh, how does white run, and how does white make your uh, make you know himself alive? Maybe with the help of AI, you'll find a way. But unfortunately, we're not AI, and our level is not there. So uh, we need to find a simpler way to in to uh, make the invasion. Um, so I'm glad if you thought about uh, R8, but we have to think about the follow-ups. Uh, because if we don't think about follow-ups, we'll keep getting 
killed will keep making bad invasions in our games. Uh, so, so I would not include R8 as my recommended uh, move. So what about what about something uh, like this? Well, the problem with this 3-3 move is that black can just settle like this. So once black settles, black can keep expanding the moyo, and the real problem is not solved. And what about, you know, um, just directly uh, come in uh, like this? Well, the problem with this is that it doesn't, a fourth line stone, it's easy to run, but it doesn't create pressure uh, on the black, nor does it, nor does it make, uh, like it's, it's hard for white to actually make two eyes. So white will be running for a while. So black can just expand this side. And then uh, when white hops out, uh, black can have all kinds of ways to threaten, threaten white stone and also attacking these two guys. So we're really looking for a move that can make roots and, um, and also serve as our invasion. So the correct move in our case is to actually uh, invade at R12. So this is the correct invasion point. Um, against this move, uh, black has few choices. So let's first look at the P12. Uh, if black plays this way of capping, uh, this, that's slightly easier. White will slide. And uh, when black blocks, there is uh, another slide. Um, so it, this is this is just very easy for uh, White to make uh, himself alive. Uh, not to say uh, White might even have this way of making uh, himself alive. So so yeah, let's go through let's go through some of the tactical uh, things here. So if black Ataris. Uh, and connect, uh, white can just uh, come back and um, and this should be very easy uh, to to make uh, white. Uh, white is pretty much alive already uh, if you play out this one. Um, so white is white is alive in Sente actually um, and and there's still some Aji's left. Uh, so, so black side is destroyed. Uh, white, white, so basically white can, uh, white can now just go ahead and play somewhere else. Uh, when you play this one, I can extend onto the first line. All right, so there's no way for black to kill. So fairly easy uh, if black does not put much pressure onto white. It's very, very easy for white to uh, just slide onto the second line or you know or play this kind of variations uh, to make himself alive so um, you should not have too much problems uh, making yourself alive and make su successful invasion the more scary move is for black to attach on the fourth line so here it's a very very um, I guess a very important moment uh, in the game. Uh, let's say you don't know what to do, and then you just get the stone killed. Uh, then you you made a huge loss by just uh, losing everything in here. So, so today we'll be looking at how from here white can make a su successful invasion. So the variations are very complicated uh, in here, but I want to present the main lines. Uh, first of all, uh, we should not play R11 because when we play R11, uh, black is going to block at R10. And then there's no good follow-up uh, for white. Uh, this is already very difficult. If white push, black will block on top. When white Ataris, uh, black will connect. And when white pushes, uh, black will cut. And then I will leave you to verify uh, this is a horrible fight for white. Uh, this is this is not a fight that white can win. So if you play this one, I will extend down. Uh, if you um, 
I mean, already this is this is super difficult. Uh, this is just not going to work out. Uh, you have to go ahead and uh, you know get yourself into into the corner, but but this thing is already captured, which means uh, this whole thing uh, is pretty much uh, Black's territory now. Um, so even if white plays a Tasuji, uh, that is to wedge here, black will Atari. When white uh, goes out like this, black will just take. And when white gets out, black will uh, first of all ensure everything in here. And then uh, when white hops out, uh, there's all kinds of problems. Black will first attack whatever is in here, so these two zones and then later on attack a uh, white group in the middle. Uh, so, so from now on, this game is just gonna be bad for white because white will be attacked everywhere. Um, and, um, uh, and, and black will take the initiatives and uh, yeah, and, and this is just very difficult for white. So very important for you to make the right choice. So. As we can see, invasion is a very, very hard subject because every move you make uh, it matters a lot. Uh, you can you you can absolutely not allow mistakes uh, in your invasion. So today I will just present you the correct solution. Uh, I think if your level of reading is not there, uh, you should just go ahead and memorize uh, what I what I'm teaching you today. So. The correct move is for white to extend at R13. Uh, so black has three ways to defend. Uh, one is to block. The other one is to make a tiger's mouth. And the third one is to uh, connect at Q13. So we'll look at them one by one and, and we'll present you what's the, the, the best way to uh, defend. Let's first look at what if black pay, plays a tiger's mouth. Looks pretty good because now black secured everything uh, on the bottom. But now uh, there's obviously problems on top. We will push and Atari. Uh, black cannot allow this stone to be captured because uh, if this is captured, white is out and black is broken. Black connects another Atari. This is a forcing move. And then uh, white is going to Atari at Q15. If black Atari is on top, we can take uh, when <clears throat> when black Atari is like this, uh, first of all, white can just go into the corner. Uh, this, this is no problem. So uh, now as we can see, uh, not only white destroy the side, but also get himself a huge corner. So this corner is more than 10 points. Uh, it's likely like 15 points or more. So uh, this should be a very satisfactory result for white, uh, just given how large white corner is. So it looks like that this Atari is uh, not great. What about uh, black extends, right? The ladder is working, so white will push Black keeps extending, and uh, white will push again. And uh, <clears throat> and now, if uh, if black Atari's uh, white will just run, um, and eventually black needs to go go back and fix these three guys. Uh, and now uh, white can just uh, go ahead and play out this one. So. Uh, so now, as we can see, uh, how much white is able to gain uh, in the corner. Uh, and all what black got was these three stones. So this is not acceptable for, uh, for black. Uh, even if black directly uh, captures, we can just connect. And then this is pretty much a winning game for white um, because white just gained uh, a lot of points uh, in the corner. Um, and later on, white can still reduce, at least uh, uh, here, right? If you like the concept of sector line, we can uh, we can invade uh, just from here. And that's going to be enough for white uh, because white already has a lot of territory. All right, so we talked about what to do against the tiger's mouth. 
Well, what about what about if um, black just blocks? Um, if black blocks, white has a very nice move that is to attach uh, at R10. Black will block because black doesn't block. White will come in and make himself alive. White, black, white will push. Um, if black defends like this, uh, white can easily get himself out. So this would be immediately game over um, for black, actually. So when white pushes, black's best move is to just immediately capture. White will Atari, black connects, and then now white is very, very successful uh, at invading. Um, so black is cut off into two. And then black has to eventually uh, worry about the corner. So this is also an excellent result uh, for white moving on. If black connects on top, white will attach. And this is really forcing black to um, honey. If black wedges, though, um, white can just go ahead and play like this. So. After a few moves here, uh, White can go ahead and just uh, make himself alive. Uh, so not only White destroyed the side, but also made himself a few points. And uh, this is just a very nice outcome for White overall. Uh, this is a very successful invasion. So Black will, you know, really seal uh, this line. Uh, and here, white has to be very accurate. Uh, white's correct move is to connect at R10. Uh, sorry, at R11. Uh, notice that don't wedge here. If you wedge here, you have one liberty less. When black extends, uh, white's shortage of liberty is going to cause a problem. Because when you do uh, something like this, uh, there's going to be problems. Uh, white will be captured uh, in here. So, so it's very important for you uh, to not shorten your liberty. Instead, you should just connect at R11. When uh, black connects, we can just go ahead and make ourselves alive. Um, so this would be, this could possibly be uh, what what's going to happen next. So. As we can see uh, from this result, not only white is clearly alive, but also there is potentially some uh, weakness uh, in black's formation, right? There's there's uh, some cutting points that white can uh, at some point make use of. So yeah, this is uh, this is the key to a great invasion. Not only we achieved. Uh, making ourselves alive, gaining ourselves territory, dis destroying our opponent's territory, but we're also leaving some weakness, leaving some problems behind for our opponents. And that's, that's just a, a symbol uh, for, for a successful invasion. Here, uh, another last thing, if black extends onto the... Th uh, for th <laughs> Can't talk right now. If black extends onto the second line, um, white now needs to play a big knight because because this second line stone is putting more pressure on the white. So we have to make our eye space a lot larger. If um, black attaches um, here, white cannot really uh, capture because uh, when white pl uh, when black plays this one. Uh, we are kind of in trouble. So these guys are all killed. So, uh, but here, uh, white has a very nice combination. Uh, white can first push, uh, and then white can play out the Q14. Uh, this is, uh, sorry, R14. This is a uh, Tsuji. Black does not have time to capture these guys uh, because, my bad, because uh, there is a uh, but probably this is a 10 Q problem. Um, white can break out this way, right? So black has too many weaknesses outside, so black cannot play S15. Um, 
if black plays this one, uh, this is even uh, not working just because how much weak how many weaknesses black have. Uh, white can just wedge here. Um, if and this is uh, this is pretty much a very serious collapse for black. If black plays this one, white can extend. Uh, there's so many weaknesses. Uh, black fixes. We can just get back, and now uh, it's it's black's turn to worry about you know to worry about these guys. So so when white plays this one, the best way is for black to connect and make sure there's nothing going on outside white will pull back uh, this is threatening to play 3-3 uh, black has to pull back and now white ends with making himself alive we achieved all the things that we wanted right making ourselves alive getting a lot of points and leaving a lot of weaknesses for black on the outside uh, so this is an excellent invasion uh, overall So, so let's quickly recap. We talked about today. There's a lot of things that we talked about, uh, but the main thing for you to remember is that for this formation. Uh, so let me just quickly uh, tell you how this, you know, how this became, uh, you know, the. So basically, uh, black placed three stars, and then. And then we have a very traditional Joseki happening. Uh, white pulls back, and then Black decides to uh, make uh, another Joseki, and now we have this formation. Um, so, so um, today's lesson we talk about you know the correct way of invading is this one. Uh, we talk about the most serious uh, way for Black to try to kill it, but Black cannot really achieve that. When white extends, if black plays the tiger's mouth, uh, black will lose the entire corner. So uh, white can now connect here. And then, um, so in this case, black uh, white's compensation is way too much uh, for what black got here. So this is a pretty much a very big leading game for white moving on. So that's our first variation. Uh, the second variation uh, is for black to block here, uh, in which case white will attach and push. Uh, and this is also no problem. White is successfully getting out and uh, black's corner uh, later on is facing all kinds of threats, uh, such as this 3-3. Uh, three, three. So, and lastly, uh, if black connects, uh, white will attach and connect. So remember to not wedge here, but rather connect. Uh, if black plays this one, uh, we can just make ourselves alive, no problem. Uh, if black descends, uh, we can slide in with a big knight. Uh, when black blocks, we can push and push another time. Uh, when black connects, we pull back, and then uh, we can uh, block here. And everything uh, in here is uh, it's white's territory. Uh, it's quite it's quite a bit of territory. And then uh, what's going on outside is there's all kinds of weakness uh, for black. So with this invasion, uh, not only were, were we able to secure territory uh, and destroy territory, but also we leave weaknesses behind. So further in the game, we are able to make use of those, those weaknesses and create more problems for our opponents. And this is what signifies a very successful invasion. All right, uh, so this is the content for this lecture. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. I know the, uh, the variation in here are fairly complicated. Uh, if you have any question about the specific branch, you can ask directly below the video and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I'll talk